Hi, hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. Today, there are two interesting pieces of news which I want to elaborate on. One is um, BitMax CEO Arthur Hayes is considering issuing short-term Bitcoin bonds. Why is this news significant? Now, firstly, what is bonds, right? So, bonds, for those of you who may not know, is basically, it is a traditional asset class, right? That basically... um. Corporates, right, look to issue bonds, right? What they do is basically they take money from the public, yeah? And this is not just Bitcoin, but this is the normal bond that we are talking about first. And then later on, we translate to why is this Bitcoin bond interesting? Now, bond in the traditional sense is that a corporate will issue bond, issue you a piece of paper, literally, that agree that promises to pay you back right in the agreed term. So it can be one year bond or it can be 30 days bond, right? That... At the maturity date of the 30 days or the one year, they're going to pay you the principal, which is whatever you invest in, plus the agreed interest. Yeah, so that's bonds. And what the investors are giving to the company is actually money, right? So in a traditional sense, it's the fiat money today. Why are they doing this is because mainly they need, um, it is normally a cheaper way, especially if the company is of higher quality, that means they have good track record of um, managing their finances really well and they have a very good business model running, right? They have a good track record of return, re- repaying their bonds on time and good returns on this. Those, they, these companies will be able to raise their bonds. That means they can raise funding at a lower rate than going to the banks, yeah? Similarly, you also have government bonds. This is again in the traditional world. Government will want to raise bonds one is sometimes they really need the money, but for example, in the case of Singapore, they do not need the money. But the reason that they are doing it, they don't want to issue the bonds, is because they want to have a, a, a credit curve. What is that? What is that? It's basically they want to establish the pricing, right? How much if the government were to borrow money from the public, how much is the interest that the um, government has to pay the public? So what is the price of the money, right? So that is the interest rate. Now, for the government, is of course, it's relatively risk-free. Then that is the risk-free interest rate. So by issuing these bonds by the government in a relatively stable government environment and um, in a in a situation where the government actually have surplus like Singapore, then they do not really need the money. But the thing, the reason that they are issuing that is because they just want to establish a price curve, right? So so for the government, it's, it's, so let's say it's 3% for the government, right? For a one-year a bond. But so 3% represents a risk-free. So any other corporates that want to issue bonds, right? Or any other lending that anyone want to do has to be higher than 3%. And depending on how much, how risky the, the borrower is, right? Then basically they have to give a higher interest, Right, so the higher, let's say ten percent is way higher than seven percent. Then you know the ten ten percent basically is a more risky. So they have to price their um, you know, loans at a higher rate. So that's what basically the curve is for. Now, in the case of Bitcoin bonds, why is this interesting, and how do I see the you know how this potential will lay up? Now, um. Bitmax, they are just considering this. So what they do is, of course, they they do not really need the money. So again, his idea of having a short-term Bitcoin bonds is also for the idea. They they just want to establish a curve, um, a pricing curve for for lending in Bitcoin, right? For the industry. So, thirty short-term normally about thirty days. Yeah. So what it does is that by doing this right so they're taking bitcoin from the people from the public from anyone who has bitcoin so they take it in and at the end of 30 days they will promise to give you x amount of bitcoin plus a certain interest so whatever um, interest so let's say again this is three percent right so this will represent a relatively low risk because bitmax is a huge crypto company crypto trading company and to them the reputation upholding that reputation of you know um Paying the bonds is actually much higher than if they do not pay, right? So the reason that they do this is not so much for the money. He said is basically is for the establishing of that curve. And this is very, very good because if it really fly, he's just at a very early stage of considering. But when if this is really launched, right, then other crypto exchanges and other prominent crypto-related companies can also 
use this as a means of raising funds for their own operations but more importantly is to create a market um, create more liquidity for bitcoin right so what it does then basically it it um so when you have bitmax as one company and then you have more companies then you can relatively know what is the kind of pricing what is the kind of range of interest that the industry should be paying right right now we only have some of the um, uh, firms like block where they are or if it, they, where they're um, giving out loans right but they are just fixing interest rates just like that but if you're having a bonds then basically it will give the market you know better pricing so more um how do i say more transparent and more ways to find out what are the range of pricing for bitcoin bonds for bitcoin loans basically yeah and why is this good this will be also good to actually another avenue for people who have bitcoin people who hold on to their bitcoin so this is another avenue where they can actually land out their basically make some money off their bitcoin that they are holding right so just like your fiat money that you have sitting at home you're putting in the bank or you are giving it to the government because they issue your bond so similarly same thing right it's basically working your crypto harder is basically what it does but at the same time if if these bitcoin bonds really come through then other companies can also issue similar instruments and then there will be more incentives for for investors to hold bitcoin because then not only are you holding an asset that's volatile you are also holding an asset that can gives you income at a periodic period right so that is very very important so basically it will deepen the market it will deepen demand for bitcoin so this i think is a very positive news and very important development something to watch in the near future right because if bitmax were to were to offer this you can already foresee some of the other major crypto exchange like coinbase kraken even binance if this were to offer then, then even better because bitmax right it is among the top few when um it was rated as one of the high uh, relatively safe crypto exchange one of the good ones alongside kraken uh, poloniex right this is by ico rating an independent firm that actually looks at ranking of crypto exchanges but at the same time um bitwise when they did a uh, report to sec just looking at the overall industry because they, they submit a uh, application for the bitcoin etf right when they did that they they only listed 10 crypto exchanges that have accurate trading volume and bitmax unfortunately is not one of them so regardless um what is important about this news is really because they are considering to issue a short-term bitcoin bonds and this instrument itself right may not i mean bitmax may not be the best player to actually offer this product but when this product is offered it will then um how do i say it will get give permission right and it basically will encourage other crypto exchanges and other crypto companies as well to issue their similar version of bitcoin bonds or even other kind of other major crypto bonds right then creating a greater demand for the overall cryptocurrency and that is why i think this is important and remember right in the traditional world um money is usually required to create a bond yeah and in this case if we have bitcoin bonds and it and if this is proving to be very popular then increasingly bitcoin and major cryptocurrencies are being seen just like money and that is important this is a very very important psychology where basically now you're equating bitcoin cryptocurrency as money and that is one of those pivotal pivotal moment in the history of cryptocurrency yeah moving on we have a venture capitalist draper to meet with facebook on their crypto fund so um firstly so what happened was facebook as we all know they have um, hired an army including a lot of former paypal employees to embark or to launch one of the key projects i mean the name is not fixed yet but a lot of people just call it big, uh, facebook coin because it's basically looking to have their own cryptocurrency of facebook so naturally people think of the word facebook coin but of course this is just um you know a coin name just to a nickname for that the name will be very different of course when it's launched but what is interesting is that 
for some time now that news that rumor has been already out in the open and increasingly it is no longer a rumor anymore but it is said that their plans include they want to issue a stable coin they want to incorporate that into their messaging system which is whatsapp and you know to be able to allow people to easily transfer values across and their first test market is they're looking at india to roll this out and now and very recently they, they, it is announced that they are looking at one billion dollars in funding right and they have actually um, invited a lot of uh, venture capitalists and also family offices and rich people basically um, uh, hedge funds to actually see how you know who is interested to fund their project now and Tim Draper, he is always a crypto bull, especially Bitcoin, right? He's one of the very, very early venture capitalist billionaire, right? Who actually see the potential of Bitcoin. And he also have bought a lot of Bitcoin at very cheap prices during a lot of government auctions in the early days when um, uh, Mount Gox, one of the, um, the, the um, first crypto exchange was actually busted, right? So that was the his history and of course he also he accurately caught on bitcoin pricing at ten thousand dollars in 2017 of course the prices exceeded his prediction but anyway he was correct in calling that out so he's very very prominent individual in the um, public blockchain space right especially bitcoin now and he was famously quoted by saying that if next few years if you are still paying with non-bitcoin to buy a coffee, people will basically laugh at you. So he is totally pro Bitcoin and crypto. But now the thing is, he is talking to Facebook. What is the pros and cons of this? I see. Now, of course, on one side, um, natural question to ask is that: Is he because Bitcoin is not really moving, or the crypto market seem you know seem to be still very hard to break out in the open after so long, after more than ten years? Is he taking, um, is he diversifying his own interest, right, to something that is centralized? Because if anyone can do it, right, Facebook with his resources and his track record of execution can probably bring crypto, their own crypto, to a wider audience, to mainstream much faster. So is Tim Draper um, diversifying his interest, right, while he has a lot of interest in the um, public coins as well you see also wanting some interest in a centralized version of a private coin that's a natural question to ask now i don't know but or could it be he's just trying to use his influence now right by if he is an investor into the facebook coin project right then could he use his influence and all his connections to somehow make facebook incorporate public coins like bitcoin um, ethereum xrp onto their platform right so they will also have their own facebook coin but at the same time they will use they will also incorporate they will make it easy for people who use facebook and um, instagram and whatsapp to actually easily move bitcoin ethereum xrp and so forth across now if that is the case then there will be win-win for everyone right and of course for overall crypto this is a definitely a faster way to get to mainstream right i don't know but i hope is the latter really and um tim draper has always been a bitcoin and crypto supporter i hope you know right? he will basically use his influence and all his might all his power to the best extent possible right um that's my hope and uh, let me know what you think right and yes so that's what i have for today um hope you enjoyed this episode if you do please leave a like please subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow and hope you're having a great day wherever you are thank you so much for your time